Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Unimit channel today. Lego have officially revealed the brand new Lego UCS Hulkbuster set. So if you're going to enjoy the video, then make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest Lego leaks and news. But with that being said, everyone, let's dive right into it. So I know you've all been looking absolutely forward to seeing the set. This is the most hyped set of the year, obviously. You know, a lot of people have really been anticipating the set. So here it is in all its glory. So it includes 4,049 pieces and it's a number 76210. And here is the front of the box. And here it is, the UCS Hope Buster, the set that we all definitely asked for. You know, we didn't want the Avengers Tower or anything like that. We wanted a UCS Hope Buster. And you know why we wanted the UCS Hope Buster? To put that Iron Man buildable figurine that we got <clears throat> earlier this year into this set. But yeah, um, overall, it looks pretty bad. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks even worse here than it actually did in the leaked pictures. I don't know, it just looks very out of place. But let's talk about the box art first. So obviously, you know, it is an 18 plus set. So it does come with the black backdrop as the box art. Then you can also see the blue light in the center of the hot buster from behind. You know, Lego use this um, backdrop quite a lot with all the 18 plus sets. In fact, all of them. However, I, I, I just don't think it works with this one at all. I, I just think it looks bad in my opinion. You know, I think that it, it worked with the Sanctum and it worked with the Daily Bugle, but it just doesn't look good with this. Uh, not that I really care, you know, because you're not going to display the box. It's the actual model that matters inside. But, you know, I, I feel as though if someone walked into a store, like if I walked into a store and saw this, I wouldn't really want to buy it. It sort of puts me off, um, if you get what I mean. But yeah, the model just was really out of place. So I feel like if they were going to, you know, if I was going to design this, I, I would have personally put like a backdrop of... You know, Sokovia, that scene where the Hulk was that is versing the Hulk. That, I think that would have been, you know, better to do. And I think more people would have been drawn to the set. But yeah, and you know, it just doesn't look that great. Um, As for the side of the box art, I think the Hulk was looks better there. You know, with the reporters sticking out and everything. I think that it looks, you know, it just looks nicer uh, rather than the front. And then we have the back of the box. You can see here it, it is in another pose there. And it looks a bit better at the back of the box, honestly. I think that I think that this set looks decent when the repulsor is sort of out instead of just having the arms flat out straight down. Um but yeah, um, you know, it, it doesn't look too great still. Um you can see also on the side uh, the hot buster all opened up and everything. We do have some better pictures of that as well, so don't worry. And then you can also see the actual hot buster from Age of Ultron. Um, in the bottom right there, and then you can also see another picture in the middle of the hot buster, and then it also has the measurements of the set in the bottom left corner there. So it is a pretty big set. Um, I think it's about fifty two centimeters, if I'm uh, correct. I'm not too sure, uh, but that is what I heard. Um, so yeah, you know, it is pretty tall, but you know, it's not as big as the Daily Bugle. Um, and here is the uh the set all built up and everything, and. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. I think that this looks doesn't do the set justice either. Um, I hope it is definitely one of those cases where the set looks better in real life than it does on like the official pictures and everything. But yeah, it just it's the chest. The chest puts me off. Um, and I feel as though the um, the head section just looks a bit out of place. I don't know if it's just me, but it just doesn't look too right. But yeah, obviously the torso is the main thing that just puts this thing you know like it just makes it look bad in my opinion and also uh, with the waist section as well i'm not really a massive fan of that part the arms and the legs though individually are pretty good builds they look quite bulky and chunky which is what they're supposed to look like so i do appreciate that um but yeah and as for the articulation there's a bit of articulation with the arms um however i don't think that the legs actually move and i don't believe the uh, hip can move either so it's just basically you move the arms and that is basically it. So, yeah, it, but it is a display model. It's not made for playing or anything. If you do want to get a whole person that has a lot of articulation, then just buy the play scale versions, which are about £20. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, I, I'm trying to think of something good to say about this. But, yeah, even the minifigure is bad. Um, it's the Mark 43, if any of uh, you are wondering. Uh, we've had three versions of the... The Mark 43 now, we had the original one that came out with the Age of Ultron sets. Then we also had the the one that came with the um the previous sort of UCS style Hulk Buster. Um and then we get this one. Now, um 
I'm all for, you know, the Mark 43 and everything. Uh, it definitely makes sense to include this figure, but this just looks bad. Like, the only exclusive thing is the torso printing, and it doesn't even look that good. Um, uh, it, You know, it looks terrible. The legs are just plain. There should have been printing on there, unless you've got the plaque, which is a sticker, by the way. However, LEGO will be changing that in the future, so I'm not really too bothered there. But it would have been nice to have it in this set now, saying that you're paying, you know, £550 for it. Um, and here is another picture now this is the main reason why i actually made this video otherwise i wouldn't have bothered and i just would have put this um the pictures of the uses hopeless in my lego loot videos um but yeah you can actually fit the figurine iron man in the set which you know it's a cool idea but i don't think that a lot of people are really going to care uh if you get what i mean you know and yeah i like personally i'm not really too bothered i don't even have that figurine iron man so yeah, and here is the uh, figurine Iron Man compared with the UCS Hulkbuster. Uh, the size is decent. I think that, you know, it's it's actually quite accurate to, like, real life. That's how the Hulkbuster would be in scale with Iron Man. So, you know, I appreciate that. Um, this, you know, this is probably the most um, up-to-scale version, um, the most accurate scale version, along with, you know, this figurine version that we've had from the Hulkbusters, because even the, uh, the smaller ones aren't, or that are usually too accurate, they're usually much larger than they actually would be for the figure. And then you can also see another picture of the interior here and of the person building it. Uh, you know, it looks quite interesting there. There is a lot of sort of like technic hole pieces used and everything. So yeah, and there is a bit of a technic structure as well. Um, I believe the pole there is just sort of to keep the Iron Man in place so it doesn't sort of slide out or anything. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's very hollow in there. Uh, there's not much, there's a lot of space to fit the Iron Man. So yeah um and i don't really have too much else to say as for the price um mm, the price is bad i think i don't i don't think i have to say too much else about the price because i think everybody knows that you know 550 pounds for a set that has four thousand pieces is not a good deal it, i believe it does include three light bricks but i uh, per personally i would have preferred it if they just took the light bricks out and decreased the price now, I feel as though this set probably will go on sale quite a lot. You probably will see this on clearance in about a month or two because I don't think this is going to sell well at all. So, you know, that is sort of good there for us LEGO fans. So if you do want a Hot Bus style, you might be able to find this for a decent price. Uh, but there we go, everyone. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If you didn't enjoy it, then make sure to smash that like button as well. Subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest LEGO leaks and news. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the new UCS Hulkbuster. Are you excited for it? Will you buy it? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later and bye-bye.